Problem 28 is a multi-period investment problem. We have four years we can make investments in three different funds or three different ways in the business. Research and development, manufacturing operations, and advertising and sales. We have $500,000 to invest and the three different investments are going to return different yields. Advertising returns 20% per year. Manufacturing operations returns 30%, but it's a two-year investment. And research and development is a 50% return for a three-year period. If we take a look at the network of the model, uh, with each node representing a year, we can see that the advertising is going to connect the first and the second node, second, third, third, fourth, and fourth and fifth. Investment in manufacturing and operations over a two-year period, money that we invest in the first is available in the third, second is available in the fourth, and so forth. While well, research and development, money that we invest in the first period is available in the fourth. Money that we invest in the second is available in the fifth. So that gives us three different types of decision variables. We'll call these A sub I for money invested in advertising period I. M sub I is money invested in manufacturing. R sub I is money invested in research and development in period I. Now, what is our goal here? We want to know how much to invest in each of the three alternatives during each year of the four-year period to maximize the total ending cash value of the initial investment. Initial investment takes place back here. These three decision variables carry the total return at the end of the fourth year, going into period five. So what we're going to look at for period five is maximizing the flow into this period. And of course, I'm talking about flow through a network, so this is a network flow model. Network flow models imply balance of flow constraints. So let's think about the balance of flow. Money is flowing through this network. What do we have in the first period? We have $500,000 to invest. What do we need at the end? Well, we need as much as possible, but we have no real demand. So if we think about supply and demand in the problem, supply is 500,000, demand is zero, and supply is greater than demand. So our balance of flow constraints will be greater than equal to. Now, as this money is flowing through the network, it is growing. A dollar that we invest in this first period, when it gets to the second period, is more than a dollar. It's grown by 20%, so it's a dollar 20. And that holds true for every advertising investment. Manufacturing, money that we invest in the first period comes back to us in the third period, but it's not a dollar at that point, it's a dollar 30 grown by 30 percent. And a dollar that we invest in research and development in the first period comes back to us in the fourth period, but it's no longer a dollar, it's grown to a dollar fifty. So we do have growth involved in these balance of flow constraints. When we get to that fifth period, we're actually going to uh, do three balance of flow constraints. We'll do the first period, we'll do the third period, and then we'll do the fifth period. And we're going to hold off on the objective function for a minute. Period one, balance of flow constraint. What's flowing into period one? Nothing. There are no decision variables coming into node one. We only have outflow there. And what is the outflow? A1, the amount that we're investing in advertising the first period, M1, and R1. These are all outflows, so those flows are all negative. And the balance of flow supply is greater than demand, so our balance of flow constraints will all be greater than or equal to. We have a supply of 500,000 in the first period. We'll take a look at node two. 
What's coming into Node 2? Well, the advertising money that we invested in advertising in period 1 is coming in, but it's grown to 1.2 times what we invested. Minus outflows A2, M2, and R2 greater than or equal to 0 because we have no demand in that second period. We'll skip periods 3 and 4 because they follow the same pattern. We'll take a look at period 5. What's flowing into period 5? A4, M3, and R2 are flowing into period 5. Advertising grows by 1.2. Manufacturing 1.3 and research and development 1.5. That has to be greater than or equal to zero because again we don't have any demand in period five. We simply want to make that inflow as big as possible. And that inflow, the left hand side of this constraint for period five is our objective function. We want to maximize that inflow into period five. 1.2 A4, 1.3 M3, and 1.5 R2. So there is our objective function out of that balance of flow constraint. Additional constraints. We want advertising in period one to be greater than $30,000. Manufacturing greater than 40,000 and research and development greater than 50,000. Our research and development decision variables, our manufacturing decision variables, and our advertising decision variables. We we'll calculate the inflow and outflow for each period. Inflow minus outflow will be the net. We have our constants for yield this is simply notation for our benefit and we have our minimums for that first year. Inflow. Well, we have no inflow during the first period. Inflow during the second period is advertising times the yield. Absolute. We copy that down to the third period and we have our advertising from the previous period plus manufacturing from the first period times its yield, absolute. As we copy this down, our inflows are growing. Now we need to add research and development from the first period times its yield. And we can copy this down. Sum of the decision variables for each period. And the net flow is equal to inflow minus the outflow. Now, inflow for our last period is our objective function, so I'm going to change the font on that to red and bold. And we'll go ahead and solve this problem. Bringing up solver, reset all. Our target cell is the inflow to period 5. We want to maximize that by changing cells. Research and development, comma, manufacturing, comma, advertising, subject to two sets of constraints. First will be the balance of flow, the net flow, has to be greater than or equal to the right hand side. Our first period investments, research, development, manufacturing, and advertising, needs to be greater than the minimum set in the problem. Options are linear and non-negative, and when we solve, 